All right, you guys, I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame with Hippie Sabotage. Boom. So, Jeff and Kevin, I mean, fucking insane. You guys killed it. And back in your hometown, like, how's it feel performing? It feels great. My dad was in the mosh pit. Yeah. My mom was going hard. <laughs> Ken was in the mosh pit, yeah. crowd surf. Jeff did a jump. Jeff did a jump. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I know. I definitely was down there to witness uh, the crowd surfing. Uh, like that, you guys are in touch with your fans. Yeah, of course. I actually <laughs> crowd surf. That's what I love to cut you off. But, Trying to uh, <laughs> have a good time uh, in old Sacramento. You know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, you guys want to tell me a little bit of background? I mean, you guys came up from the city of trees. Now, you guys are touring all over. I know you have a show in Amsterdam coming up, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, we do. Cool, yes, we do. cool. So, the next, yeah, I know you guys are jet setting yeah. all around. Yeah. You want to uh, give the fans a little bit of insight of, like, I mean, you guys are brothers, sure. obviously family, but how you guys came together to decide yeah. to do music? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fortunately, this is my older brother, Kevin. Fortunately. Uh, we've been doing things together since I was born. We skateboarded in, uh, in Sacramento, started making our own skateboard videos, and then uh, wanted to make our own music for him and shit. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, just started messing around on the computer, and I played guitar and did that for a couple of years. And then I went to music school, moved to San Diego, and then uh, just been making music for the past maybe 15 years. And then yeah. the last two and a half, three years. Yeah, Everything's sort of gone crazy, and you know, I'm with this guy, the bearded, uh, crazy <laughs> maniac. What do you uh, think, Kevin? Tell the story. I'll tell the story. Tell the story. You don't know, I'm the one that likes to hear his own voice. Um, no, but when I graduated from college, I came back to Sacramento, kind of looking to find my way, and I started an internship at Soundcap Audio, which is a great uh, music studio and old firehouse next to Weatherstone Coffee. Okay. And uh, I did, I worked with, his name is Pete Space for a, a number of years. And shout then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out Pete. Shout out Pete. <laughs> and then after that, uh, I, I went to work at another studio called uh, Amina Labs, which is now just like amazing. Their facilities are just yeah. amazing. Run by Jay and Telly. And um, that was like a four or five year period where I was just in the studio, um, working with Chase while Jeff was at school. And when Jeff would come back during the summer, we'd immediately spend all our time either at Soundcalf or at Amina. Pretty much nonstop. I mean, like seven days a week. We were kind of, it's crazy that it all worked out for us. And, uh, you know, but we really did. We really were uh, like insanely obsessive about it, even in the early days when we were here in Sacramento going to the studio every day so well uh you know definitely the hustle is what kept you guys going and what kept you guys growing and i know that you guys were featured on billboard uh for your song stay high you guys just put that out there um i mean i love the melody on that and i love um your female collaborations you guys all feature females on your albums i mean what's your kind of like motivation for that uh yeah we made uh rap music for, yeah. <laughs> for dudes for maybe like 10 years used to go Solid to shows <laughs> We'd be at shows with 50, 20 people, all dudes, and uh, all trying to be too cool for school. And then one day we were like, hey, let's make music for girls and let's just have fun. And uh, so yeah. Being so stiff, maybe dance a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. well, I know your guys' sound is definitely, um, you know, one of kind of you know electronic, but hip hop as well. You guys definitely blend it really uh, smoothly and nicely. Do you, how. Um, do you guys come up with your sound? Like, you know, what comes to mind when you start making beats and start collaborating together? Uh, anything really, you know. What a fucking outro on that beat, Jeff. <laughs> That's yeah. our main conversation. That's like the main conversation, right? We always make a really amazing song, and then we, it's like already done, and like people are gonna like it, but then we just like to argue about the outro. <laughs> this is only 30 seconds long. Yeah for like two weeks well definitely uh that so brother love time. right yeah brother you, know, you gotta have a little bit yeah. of arguing right so yeah. you guys are solid siblings yeah. <laughs> there's been some great outros that come from those arguments <laughs> we, we sit on songs and uh really anything uh however we're filming make happy songs sad songs yeah. dance songs guitar songs well i mean i'm glad that you guys have a breadth of work you definitely relate to many souls out there and everybody kind of i think at least for me finds a little piece of like themselves in your guys's music um i'm really excited to see what you guys have coming out because i know you're doing your tour international after amsterdam italy correct we're going to paris actually paris, paris. Okay. And london 
London. Yeah, Paris, All right. London, Paris, London, and then we're playing a magic festival in Atlanta. Uh, All right. Next Wonderful. So you guys out there, fans, if you're in Atlanta, uh, go and see these bad boys yeah, right our here. Atlanta <laughs> shows are so smart. <laughs> I, I, I guess we're on camp. Shout out Atlanta, but yeah, we've your... never not sold out Atlanta, and it is like crazy town when we go to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah Atlanta, Magic Festival. Yeah. Well, uh, fans, you guys can look out for them performing um, in Atlanta. Also, um, I mean, if you guys missed it here, tough luck because you guys, I mean, you killed it. Next I'm year, so, I think we're going to Next year, right? Should yeah. I love next for the 916. 916, Hoff, everybody, thank you guys for coming out, supporting yeah. us. Yeah. Gonna match for better things. Yeah, I just want to end this by saying we uh, had an amazing time at the Hall of Fame party tonight. I remember the days when I couldn't get into the Hall of Fame party. Yeah. Shout and out Tony. For not shout out yeah. Tony for specifically not letting me and Jeff in on multiple occasions. But we love you guys, and we love that uh, the city came out to support Hoff Day, and can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah. It's possible, Sacramento. Yes. Well, thank you guys for coming back to your hometown. Uh, legends, legends. So thank I appreciate you, it. And uh, the base, best way for fans to follow you now is what? Instagram or? Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, okay. SoundCloud. It's all backslash hippie sabotage. Hippie sabotage. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, you guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, again, I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame Noelle's with Hippie Notions! Sabotage. <laughs>